does it get any better? Oh, what <laughs> a look at that final bracket. Molly Picklum, world number three, is now the high seed in the event. If you missed the earlier rounds, we lost world number one, Katie Simmers. Setting themselves up. Little possibility here. Molly looking interested. Picklum, world number three, grabs her rail. Let's go. Tucks in again, head down to go the distance, and she will start up incomplete. Go back to back, and this is what Caroline was hearing from the boat. All the screams for Vahine kicking things off for the make against oh. Molly Picklum. This was just such a beautiful read from Vahine. I mean, for me, it comes down to her positioning right from the very beginning. I mean, right at the get-go, she put herself in the perfect position to be so deep in this tube. And I think it was kind of what Jessie was talking about in the last heat with Sawyer. She had good wave selection. She was just too wide. But Vahine really nailing it. You know, clearly local wild card comes down to where she took off. And, I mean, it was actually for a takeoff today, it was relatively easy. And then the thing just absolutely opened up here. You can see her feet. She shuffled f further forward on the board just to create more speed. And that center of gravity is further forward on the board, really making sure that she comes out of this one. But nicely done for Vahine. As we look here, Vahine looks to be swinging on this one. Vahine without priority, perfect positioning, a nice pump, and driving through the pit once again. Two decisions, two makes for the local. And that one, a nice tall wave, maybe a bit more size, had a bit more tube time on her 717, but. Great execution. You can see just how much space is between herself and Molly there from that shot. Takes off, beautiful read, easy takeoff, and then just this thing stays open. And you're right, Joe, definitely a bit more size in that one. And once again, great read. You can see herself just stalling a little bit with her back arm, slowing herself down. But that's a great backup wave to the 717. Ooh, almost clipped her in the head there. She did really well to get under the lip. <laughs> so much energy in there, a nice controlled style, looks so graceful. As we went to break, Molly used priority on this one, Flick. Yeah, Molly uses her priority, tucks into this one. But this is the second one here, and trying to stall there, but just a little bit. As we look at five minute mark, Vahine trying to improve on one of her sevens. Controls a nice drop into a hollow cave, and Vahine has been perfect this morning. Every decision has been solid. That was a big cavern. And we'll see if that number will go excellent. This angle, exactly. I just wanted to see just how deep she got. It's a nice early entry, but then that wave just fully drops out and she gets nice and deep in that barrel there for a second. I'm not sure if that's gonna be just as high as her first two waves, but just so beautiful. And I mean, this wave just so aesthetically pleasing. So blue, so crystal clear, and I mean, Vahine is looking in good form. And you can just see, I mean, she uses her back arm so well just to control the speed there, manage it, whether or not she needs to stick the arm in the wall of the face longer to slow down. And he will have a really good look at it. You can see she's already using that back arm there, trailing and when she wants to get a little bit more speed, she'll take that back arm off the face of the wave and start propelling forward. So three beautiful waves for Vahina. She's done really well. When it comes to barrel riding and scoring these athletes, they look at the takeoff, the degree of difficulty of the takeoff, how committed. It's not impossible, but it's definitely hard. and She needs to go now. Molly Picklum puts her head down and slides out. Another wipeout for Picklum. This has been happening to Molly on a couple of her waves in the opening round. And yeah, tough wipeout. And then Vahine putting two arms in the wall to slow down, gets really deep and comes out. A master class of a performance from the local wild card. <laughs> wow. Completely. And you know that this has just been a goal of Vahine's ever since she's been in this event and had a start, right? She wants a win. And in my opinion, all starts she's had a hand of that trophy it's just you know a couple of maybe decisions over the last couple of years that yeah she hasn't been able to crack that final but you just know how hungry she is she she wants this win so badly and yeah 
of course, the most informed surfer. I mean, and improved on her last wave as well. Seven, seven point six seven, I think, on that last one. So, getting better and better. Reigning sevens for Vahine Fierro, Jeremy Flores, already breaking down the performance. That was an absolute master class, not only in tube riding, but also in competing. You went up against world number three, you put up multiple sevens. That's exactly how you want to start your finals day. Yeah, the waves are showing up today. There's a lot more energy. It's a slow pace, so it's nice. It's not too scary. Uh, but there is like a lot of west ones. It's like kind of tricky. You're moving back and forth. And I was glad I was in a good rhythm and, and uh, yeah, building. I was like building my momentum, like wave after wave was better. and. Yeah, feeling, feeling comfortable out there, so I'm, I'm really stoked. Well, obviously, you have a very high comfort level out there, and of course, the channel absolutely electrified when you hit the water. Do you feel added pressure being from right here in Tahiti, and what do you do to kind of get yourself in the proper mindset to compete? Of course, there's always, you know, pressure of competing at home, but at the same time, it's only once a year, and having everybody here, my family, my sisters, my boyfriend, like, Having everyone here, it's just, it, it fires me up and I just, you know, I just want to like build heat after heat, get the best waves of my life if I can in the heat. So I'm just, I'm just super happy. Yeah, I know there's a lot of friends and family from all over the world watching. What do you want them to hear? Uh, thank you to everyone supporting. It means so much to my shaper, Britt. I just wrote a brand new 6 in my heat, so I trust you. <laughs> uh, yeah, to all my team, my coaches, the fans, like, thank you so much. I, we feel your energy and, and we keep going. <laughs> Local wildcard taking out world number three of a Fiero. Moving on.